Do I look more tired now that I'm a dad? I feel more tired. What do you reckon is the most important prehistoric technological development? Stone tools? Metallurgy? The wheel? If you answered yes to any of those, then you're wrong and also a terrible person. <laughs> but I'm just, no, I'm only joking. I'm sure you're lovely. But as we all know, you know it, I know it, your grandma knows it. There is no civilization without a nice cup of tea and you can't have a proper cup of tea without a teapot. Therefore, pottery is the greatest invention in prehistory. So today I'm going to take a look at when and where humans realized that baking mud made great stuff. Boom. Okay, so over in the Western world, pottery was invented after the development of agriculture. What we could call agriculture, farming, uh, developed after thousands of years of increasingly intense resource use. But we could say that from around 12,000 years ago in the Near East, there were farming communities. However, they didn't invent pottery for another 3,000 years, sometime around 9,000 to 8,500 years ago. We call the time between these two dates the pre-pottery Neolithic, and I can only assume they kept absolutely everything in their pockets. Only joking, of course. They were very inventive when it came to food storage. Excavations at Dara, Jordan, revealed granaries that even had raised floors to keep some uh, vermin out, allow some air to circulate, from as early as 11,000 years ago. Pretty sophisticated stuff. They probably produced alcohol in stone troughs. And artistically speaking, they were able to create some pretty impressive sculptures, even without pottery. Had to buy that bloody teapot. Trying to make a video about pottery, your local tea house switches to metal teapots. Disaster. Anyway, I love uh, Western Asia during the Neolithic. I love that time period. I love that place. But it is fair to say in terms of the development of pottery, Europe and Western Asia are absolute slow pokes compared to the prehistoric inhabitants of East Asia, China, Japan, Korea, Eastern Russia. They were way ahead of the game. The earliest pottery discovered in the world so far comes from Xian Rendong Cave, Eastern China. Hope I said that right. The cave has a narrow entrance which opens up into this large cavern and at the entrance to the cave, 282 pottery sherds were recovered. Using 45 deer bones recovered in situ for dating, we know that the site was occupied between 29 and 12,000 years ago. The pottery does not appear until 20,000 years ago, but that's still incredibly old. That's a, a good 12,000, 11, 12,000 years ahead of the West. Burn marks on the outside of the pottery suggest that it was used for cooking, but I do like to think they made a cheeky brew as well. You can't skip a tea. What is really different compared to the West is that these people were mobile hunter-gatherers. Farming would not arise in China for another 10,000 years or so. So why did these ancient hunters develop this technology so much earlier than anywhere else in the world? Now, unfortunately, there hasn't been any chemical analysis done of the pottery at Xian Rendong. So exactly what they used it for is hard to say. And that was where this video was gonna end. But then James Dilley, archeologist at Southampton University, Flint Napper, bronze worker, shared this paper and uh, I had to change my script late at night. Follow him on Twitter, he does super cool stuff. Now what does it say though about the development of pottery in prehistory? So according to the paper, a team analyzed the lipid or sort of fatty oily residue on pottery from the Russian side of the Amur River, which forms the border between Russia and Northern China. Dating to between 16.5 and 10.2 thousand years ago, it was hypothesized that the people in this region developed pottery to better take advantage of aquatic resources. Basically, they wanted to make fish stew. This idea was based off analysis done on early Japanese pottery. This idea was true for pottery found on the lower Amur, but further up the river, it seems it was used to cook ruminants. 
We don't know which ones, deer, cows, goats, animals like that. The different uses map onto different pottery styles too. This led the researchers to conclude that pottery may have arisen for different reasons in different regions. When the potters of Xian Rendong were making their pottery 20,000 years ago, it was the height of the last ice age, the last glacial maximum. Hunter-gatherers in East Asia may have started experimenting with pottery to better help them exploit resources in what probably would have been quite a cold and harsh landscape. If they had deer, they made deer stew. If they had fish, they made fish stew. Some communities could have developed pottery to produce alcohol, and perhaps it had an essential role in feasting and other social activities. An honorable mention has to go to the Paleolithic inhabitants of Czechia. Roughly 29,000 years ago-ish, the people there started producing baked clay statues, such as the Venus of Dolny Vestonice. However, there is a difference between clay figurines and utilitarian pottery, both in terms of how difficult it is to fire and, of course, in its use. Still, they have to get a mention, even if you can't make a brew with a Venus figurine. All right, there you have it. Pottery, pottery, functional pottery was uh, probably invented 20,000 years ago in what is now China. At least that's what the current evidence suggests. If you don't include ceramic figurines, that is, and I don't because you can't make tea with them, but if you do include ceramic figurines, then 29,000-ish years ago in the Czech Republic. Thanks for watching. skiddly do. see you guys. Oh, <coughs> 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 bye Joe.